have been developed uh, to show overturning a green belt policy. It's as simple as that. That's how I started my comments and that's how I conclude them. So really, my argument is based on the lack of beneficial response times overall between the loss of response times to the other side of uh, the Upton Fire Station to the east side of it compared with the so-called perceived benefits that I don't believe of what will happen on the west side. So having given that as a precursor, I've really got a reason for refusal. There's two parts to this reason which I ask you to accept on the basis of what I said last time. So here, here goes. The development proposed would constitute inappropriate development within the Green Belt. The, careful, the Council has carefully considered the justification put forward by the applicant in support of the proposals, but has concluded that these considerations do not outweigh the harm to the Green Belt, and therefore very special circumstances required to justify inappropriate development in the Green Belt have not been demonstrated. And the development is therefore contrary to policy GB2 of the World Unitary Development Plan and the principles of the National Planning Policy Framework. The second part of this uh, move for refusal is really similar to last time in saying, having regard to the location of the development proposed and the proximity of the residential properties and the nature of activities proposed, together with the character of the local highway network, the Council considers the proposed development result in harm to the visual amenities of the Green Belt, the character of the area and the amenities of neighbouring residents and the wider locality. Therefore, the development would be contrary to policy GB2 of the World Unitary Development Plan and the principles of the National Planning Policy Framework. I so move, Chair. Sorry, David, I'll ask whether you were making two recommendations there or, or one. Well, it was, it was two parts of one recommendation, but if, if we we'll follow the procedure that we had last time, I'm happy to put them both forward to be voted on separately if that's what it is. Would suit you. I'll leave you to come to conclusion. Your chair, please. I, I think it's your decision, if you're removing this, whether you do that or not. Right. Um, I will move them as two separate um, reasons for refusal. So the first one, which I articulated, relates to insufficient uh, cause for the green belt to be invaded. I, I think it would probably be best if you read it again. I'm sorry, David. No, I'm sorry. As long as everybody's happy with that. Just, just so that everybody's clear on, on what the vote is, I think it would be best if you read it. Yeah, okay. Just stop at the first one. Fine, no problem. The development proposed would constitute inappropriate development within the Green Belt. The Council has carefully considered the justification put forward by the applicant in support of the proposals, but has concluded that these considerations do not outweigh the harm to the Green Belt and therefore very special circumstances required to justify inappropriate development in the Green Belt have not been demonstrated and the development is therefore contrary to policy GB2 of the World Unitary Development Plan and the principles of the National Planning Policy Framework. Thanks Ian. So Ian seconded that. Um, so can I just ask for all those in favour of the proposed refusal? Yes, the, um, the second reason is as follows. Having regards to the location of the development proposed and the proximity to residential properties and the nature of activities proposed together with the character of the local highway network, the Council considered that the proposed development would result in harm to the visual communities of the Green Belt, the character of the area and the amenities of neighbouring properties and the wider locality. Therefore, 
the development would be contrary to policy GB2 of the World Unitary Development Plan and the principles of the National Planning Policy Framework. I so move, Chair. Thank you.
Okay, so can I now move the subject to the additional condition for a construction management plan, please? Uh, and if I can take the uh, final call, we've got a question asked on the side of this issue. I've been told that it's a formal answer to the question, so I've been sure that that will take place. So I'll move that to the next one, and then we construction. Okay, do, do we have a second, Trina? Okay. All those in favour subject to the conditions listed and the additional condition regarding the construction management plan, please raise your hand. Those against?